So girl was coming to 2.3 if you're looking forward to gating this character max level day one luckily you guys can prepare everything for him right away we're tackling this check out this infographic we're going to be tackling level 80 and level 90 he is a support if you want to take him to 80 first that's what i would recommend it's the most efficient for farming time you know gold mora equipment that you need to gain access to for him as well and uh, let's start out with this right here now you need 108 of these asango pearls here which is going to be located on one of the newer islands for inazuma and you can actually get these uh pretty easily they're kind of in these certain areas here so you can see where i'm standing here sort of like a line between the waypoint here towards the Sanganomi Shrine there's going to be a quite considerable amount of them down this linear path around this sort of rock edge here now south of the shrine you can get some right around here on this little sort of uh, sort of mountainous outcropping area between the two bridges there's going to be a couple of there for you around that region and as well as north of Boro Village you're going to find some here as well a couple other areas here is near this little sort of N E, where you see the N and the E for the word shrine, there's gonna be somewhere right around there. And then out here on the outcropping area, you see the sort of like square looking uh sort of a uh outcropping i'm going to use that word again you can find a considerable amount of them there's gonna be like six seven of them floating around that region and then up here by the pool you can find some here as well you're gonna need 108 of these to hit them to 80 so if you are trying to farm them up real quick then uh, maybe go into your friends areas and steal all of their little pearls there just like that now another thing you're going to need to acquire is going to be some of the perpetual mechanical array drops you need 26 of these to take your character to level 80 here and if you don't have access to this area maybe you're new to inazuma maybe you just came back it is part of this underground area that is unlocked exclusively through a quest chain that might take you a little bit of time to figure out however if you want to be spending your resin right away on these boss drops there is going to be a little portal in Jiren Island here and it's going to be like a dark glowing portal we saw some of this in some of the other regions of Inazuma if you find this portal you go in there it's going to uh, teleport you down here underground and then your only way out is really to teleport out afterwards so if you're really really new and you need another way to get in there uh, take your little boat go to Jiren Island look for this nice glowing purple portal in the sky and gain access to the perpetual mechanical array that way now another item you're going to need you're going to need three different tiers you're going to have the common variety the green variety and the blue variety of the different spectral drops from the spectral ghost enemies that you can find on some of the new regions of Inazuma as well on these two new islands here you need 18 of the common quality ones 30 of the uncommon quality as well as 12 of the rare quality so all these guys can be pretty annoying to fight especially if you're brand new to fighting them you're gonna need these husks for the different sort of spectral drops so make sure you go out there and farm these guys up as well in addition to these items you are going to need one little topaz silver nine of the topaz fragments and nine of the topaz chunks to get yourself to level 80 in addition to all of these things 300,000 more to get yourself up there as far as awakening costs are concerned now if you want to take them all the way to 90 the new totals you're going to have 46 of the perpetual mechanical hearts 168 pearls 420,000 more 18 common spectral drops 30 uncommon spectral drops 36 of the rare spectral drops and then in addition to the different topazes you're going to need six of the good legendary versions of the topaz so get out there if you want to have access to this do this stuff so you can have a max level goro on day one now when it comes to talents each of his talents use the same thing they're losing the teachings of light here a level eight talent is going to use totality three teachings of lights 21 guides to light as well as 10 philosophies of light to take his talents to level eight this is pretty decent as well you're not really getting super expensive if you want to go all the way up to nine and ten you're going to need even more we're talking 28 philosophies of lights per talent which leave it at level eight for right now unless you want to go the full mile and then in addition to these teachings of lights for each talent you're taking to level eight you're gonna need six of the common spectral drops 22 of the uncommon spectral drops and then 10 of the real spectral drops as well as two molten moments which you're going to be getting from lost ignora which is the weekly world of boss now as goro is going to be a geo support character what sort of artifact sets should we be looking forward to in weapon selection as well now what i'm going to tell you guys right now you have a lot of questions about this i'm going to shut one set down for you i've gotten a lot of questions about this one already and that is the tenacity of the milliset set can he use this set well yes you can but he doesn't have a pulsing 
elemental skill so this set is actually quite terrible on him and what i'm going to tell you to do right now if you want to have a set ready to go for him four piece noblish oblige is going to help out his elemental burst damage and also going to give your party a 20 percent attack buff when he activates his own elemental burst but what you really want to do if you're brand new you're farming up a brand new set for girl what's his best set going to be it's going to be the new set that's coming out with him in patch 2.3 you're going to have some time to farm up this new set as well give some big defense also is going to increase his geo damage works super well with him because he's not coming out until the second part of 2.3 where you're going to have access to this new artifact set to farm up right away so that's what i would tell you guys to do there as far as artifact sets are concerned if you're going to be doing damage with him as well you'll be using a defense percent sands a geo damage gobble at a crit rate something circlet if you want to go that route as well he doesn't give a bonuses to defense based off of his own defense it's kind of like a defense scaling character for his elemental burst he also has a defense scaling multiplier on his elemental skill as well so go for the defense percent crit damage geo damage have fun with that and you're gonna have a good time you're also gonna need a considerable amount of energy regeneration because his elemental burst does cost 80 energy so keep that in mind as well when you're rolling up those new artifact sets when goro is released weapon selection there's really two big ones here i really am going to like the favonius warbow on him it's going to have energy recharge for his 80 cost element of burst and then you are going to be building him sort of like a sub dps character so he's going to have some crit rate on this and this is going to help your energy regeneration for either him or someone else in your party by generating elemental particles through a windfall if you have access to the elegy for the end you could also use this as an energy recharge bow that also gives your party attack percent so if you want to be your sort of bard character out there general over the army elegy for the end would be very nice on top of that you could go for the sacrificial bow to reset the cooldown on your elemental skill and put it back out but it's going to be limited to one flag per time if you put another flag down it's going to blow up so go for the sacrificial bow just for the energy particle regeneration or you can go for the favonius warbow either one works i'm going to be more partial to the favonius warbow especially if you have higher refinement ranks on it because it's going to lower the cooldown it's going to have you higher percent chance to your crit hits to generate these particles and it's just going to be a good time now when it comes to characters for your boy good old good boy goro as we like to call him around here parts we're going to have access to albedo albedo is going to be wonderful either of the defense scaling characters we have access to right now albedo noel and then in the future are ataki ito or going to be the really the only characters that are going to benefit from having goro in your party so if you haven't worked on them yet for some reason you want to sort of maximize these characters well guess what you'll be maximizing these characters in 2.3 because you've guessed it goro arataki ito albedo noel they're all using that new defense and geo damage set that's coming out in 2.3 so they're all going to be on that set you're going to be in that domain for quite a while so look forward to these characters maybe work on them if you haven't yet and they're going to be having a good time with your boy goro going to free up some slots go for the full geo supremacy team guys steve and i are ready if you guys want to see more stuff you know what to do here on the channel always a pleasure see you guys around there you guys are a blessing thanks for coming